several hour period Sunday did cause minor damage to scores of homes and buildings and even caused one hospital to evacuate its patients when power was lost. As predicted by a prototype early warning system at Caltech Seismological Lab, just about all the shakers were relatively minor in the magnitude three range with a few just over five. We were doing pretty well at, at estimating the probable magnitudes of these earthquakes. But say the words earthquake and California in the same sentence, and the locals start worrying about how much they might lose. I was literally watching it, and the pieces of the wall were falling. While the rest of the country, aware of the computer models and movie versions and the real history, defaults to the obvious question. Does this suggest any connection at all to the big one? And the answer is no. This earthquake is just happening too far south from the San Andreas. We've seen many such swarms in Raleigh over the last century, never followed by something on the San Andreas. On an average California day, there are around 50 barely noticeable earthquakes statewide, but 400 in one day, in one spot. I don't like this. We're duly noticed. My type. Interesting. That's uh, 400 earthquakes uh, in one spot. And um, here's uh, what's happening right now. As you can see, it's, we're still rocking and rolling down here um, with the different earthquakes down here, uh, Gulf and uh, um, Mexico there, and uh, greater Los Angeles and uh, Southern California. You can see in the maps here um, the activity that's, that's happening here. Even though we're having blue skies and it's nice and warm, but uh, there's still activities here. You can see by the charts here, uh, so that all the Southern California is like a 2.3 and and a 3.3 here, uh, uh, 3.3 earthquake here, and a 3.4 earthquake here, Southern California. And then um, moving down here, you can see there's there's still more earthquakes happening here, Greater Los Angeles, and um, uh, there was one uh, this morning off of um, um, Santa Monica Bay. It was a three-point earthquake, uh, three-point uh, four earthquake there, and then uh, more Southern California um, earthquake there, and then the Gulf of California, four-point three, so forth, and uh, four-point four earthquakes here. Down the line here, you can see more earthquakes happening there, and. Uh, but then not only earthquakes that's happening all I mean 400 earthquakes at one spots there um, that's what was reported on that video um, but not only earthquakes that are happening but then I know the East Coast is uh, having a lot of problems with uh, Hurricane Isaac and and here's uh, what's happening down there so well, along the Mississippi in New Orleans for us tonight Lester thanks we're also joined live by a man we just saw in Lester's story, the mayor of the city of New Orleans, Mitch Landrew. Mr. Mayor, been watching you on television all day. We know how busy you are. Um, regarding the, the lack of those shelters of last resort, we all know what happened inside many of them last time, the airport convention center at Superdome. Uh, will you have enough, especially for the people we saw get impacted by Katrina last time? Brian, we believe that we do. And one of the things that we really had to get a much better at is making sure that all of the citizens had a plan. And what we're seeing now is that people have really prepared very, very well. You know, the good news that we got from last night is that we're not expecting a Category 3. The bad news is that one is plenty bad enough to cause an electrical outage, to cause uh, flooding from uh, heavy rain delays that will come if the storm sits above us. Uh, but uh, we have really taken a lot of time to prepare for this. The president called today. The federal, the state, and the local authorities are leaning as forward as we, as we possibly can. Uh, we feel confident that given the storm, as we know it to be right now, the levees uh, that we have invested the uh, $14 billion into the American public health district will hold. However, uh, having said that, every storm is different. This one particularly is very hard to predict, and every one of them brings something that you, know, you would not expect. So all of them are very, very dangerous. And so we're asking people, again, to be very vigilant. If you're going to leave, now is the time to leave. After tonight at about 11 o'clock, uh, it's going to be a very inopportune time for you to move. Uh, then we're going to hunker down, and we're going to ride it out, uh, and we're going to be prepared to, to respond very, very quickly to whatever consequences are that the storm brings us. Mr. Mayor, we're going to be thinking about you and uh, your city over the next couple of hours and days, and uh, we hope to talk to you along the way. Good luck to you, and we hope everyone there is prepared. Mitch Landrew, Mayor of the City Goodbye. of New Orleans.
And here's what's happening right now as far as uh, Hurricane Isaac right now. It looks like it's heading toward uh, the uh, Gulf of Mexico, toward uh, Louisiana. And uh, I've got a live um, video shot right there. That's what's happening. Right now they say it's a Category 1, uh, not small, well, not huge, so it's pretty small. I know a Category 3 or up is higher and stuff. But uh, you can see the path where it's heading north. Uh, the uh, hurricane on that so far and uh, um, so so right now it's heading toward you see, see the Gulf of Mexico uh, here's Florida so kind of past Florida here uh, heading toward uh, New Orleans uh, as we speak right now so and then uh, you can see the the heavy traffic as people are trying to leave um, the uh, the area so I can imagine what the traffic looks like there. Uh, not only that, but then um, this is what's uh, reported so far as far as not only the uh, hurricane, but also a typhoon uh, that's that's it's causing there. And many other areas are having bad typhoons as well. See, if you look in uh, South Korea, they, they just got pounded and uh, nine people were dead regarding a um, ship crash there. And... Uh, so that's the damage that's happening here, as you can see right now. Uh, so we've got the earthquakes happening um, that everybody's wondering about the big one in California. But according to that uh, video, of a person say that it's not near the San Andreas Fault. So that's that's good news. Uh, um, however, you still get a lot of tremors happening. And, and as I mentioned, there's it's good to have a lot of small tremors as opposed to a lot of big ones and stuff and especially around the you know San Andreas Falls we don't want that so so we've got earthquakes happening there and then also in the east coast and so far we've got hurricanes typhoons and cyclones and then uh, around the uh, Asian area you can see uh, a lot of activities happening there so um, Here's a live map as far as uh, earthquake wise. So uh, you've got all these earthquakes offshore as well. So Japan's still having these earthquakes here. So the typhoon, we had a typhoon down here. So Japan had a typhoon plus an earthquake. So that's uh, kind of a double, double hitter. That's what's happening there. And obviously you have the, uh, the hurricane that's happening right here. So uh, a lot of things are happening. So you got earthquakes and typhoons and uh, Hurricane Isaac happening, so uh, all at one time. And it's 2012, and it's uh, close to uh, September.